discovered along the Gulf Coast. It now sits damaged beyond repair, the victim of Hurricane Ivan, with its fate resting in the hands of a wrecking ball. Before the wrecking crew arrives, measures must be taken to safely remove the asbestos popcorn ceiling and other asbestos materials in a way that ensures there will be no release of asbestos fibers into the environment. All work on this project was performed under the supervision of an independent certified industrial hygienist. Once the plastic has been laid to cover the floors, air monitors are strategically placed throughout the area to begin project monitoring. Step three is the Bilmar abatement process, which utilizes a foam material containing Bilmar fiber stop. The fiber stop foam material is applied generously to the entire ceiling area. Extra care and time is taken to make sure every inch of the ceiling is not just covered, but completely saturated. This allows the foam material containing Bilmar fiber stop to penetrate the textured ceiling, commonly referred to as popcorn ceiling, and ensures its safe and easy removal. After the application of the fiber stop foam, the asbestos is easily scraped from the ceiling. This phase of the job is long and tedious and cannot be rushed. The textured ceiling and every layer beneath it must be scraped away and removed to get the surface down to the original concrete. Independent personal air monitoring is being performed to verify that no fibers are released during the asbestos sealing removal. Suits and face masks are worn to prevent asbestos material from coming into contact with the workers. Extra care is taken to remove the asbestos from the corners of the room and other hard to reach places. Each room is painstakingly and methodically processed one by one until this phase of the job is complete. One of the most important and critical steps in the process is cleanup. The plastic is first cut into smaller, more manageable sections so that it can be safely removed. It is then folded and rolled up and placed into larger plastic bags for disposal. The last step in the process, the confirmation that the job was done correctly. Upon completion of the asbestos abatement, we confirm by PCM and TEM analysis that zero fibers have been released. For more information, contact us at 706-654-9202 or by email at billmar2000 at altel.net or go to the website, billmaronline.com.